Welcome. Today I'm going to teach you how to write an equation of an exponential function that passes between two points that you've been given. Okay, here are the two points. So the first order of business is y equals a b to the x. You know that's the exponential function. y equals a b to the x. You write it down twice. Now we're going to start plugging in numbers. My y value here is 14. a b, my x value is 2. Let's pop this point in here. The y value is 112, a, b to the fifth. Now I want to solve each of these for a variable. This one, though both solving for a, it seems the easiest. So I'm going to divide by b squared on both sides, and we get a equals 14 over b squared. Do you see what I did? These canceled. I just flip flopped them. Over here, to solve for a, I divided by b to the fifth. That cancels, so I'm left with a equals. 112 over b to the fifth. Got more room over here, so now I can use that equal values method. Since they both equal a, I can take 14 over b squared and set that bad boy equal to 112 over b to the fifth. Now I'm going to cross multiply. 14b to the fifth equals 112b squared. Okay, now I could divide b squared on both sides, and watch what's going to happen. That's going to cancel, and I'm left with 14. That, I get rid of both of those, take 2 out of here, and I'm left with 3. So I'm left with 14b cubed equals 112. Well, I've got to solve for b, so the first thing i got to do is divide by 14. Okay, now we have b cubed equals 112 over 14. Well, there's no need to panic. You can get a calculator. And so let me get on the screen here. <clears throat> so hit clear. So what you're going to do is take the cubed root. By the way, check this out. To get rid of a cubed, you have to cube root it. Okay. So when we do that, we're going to, by cube rooting a cube, you get rid of the cube. So I'm left with B equals, let's check. Okay. So you got to make sure you clear the calculator. So what we're going to do is take the cube root of 112 over 14. So right here, this will take the third root, fourth root, fifth root, whatever. This is the normal square root button. So to take the cube root, you gotta hit three for cubed, second, then that button, and then you gotta put parentheses because it's 112 divided by 14. Just to make sure it takes the cube root of the whole thing, let's close the parenthesis. Oh, would you look at that, a two. So after all that, B equals two. Now we can take b equals 2 into one of these originals and solve to get for a. Okay, so I think this one looks the easiest. So 14 equals a. My b is 2. You see what I did? I just put 2 in for there. 14 equals 2 squared is 4a. Divide both sides by 4. a is equal, that's 7 over 2, which is 3.5. Okay, I just read, you can do it on the calculator, it doesn't matter. So what's my final answer after all this? Well, let's go back to y equals a b to the x. It's y equals, my a value is 3.5. My x is, or excuse me, my b value is 2. So after all that, that's how you can come up with the exponential equation for a, a function passing between two points you've been given.